quite frankly, lots of change on the, on the legislative front, right? So we've got uh, generally tax policy is playing a bigger role in pandemic relief legislation. Tax policy is playing a bigger role now as we head into the economic turmoil we have today than I think it did prior to and in the pandemic itself. Uh, obviously, we have BEPS, the big topic of the day. So we've got global reform in a huge novel way that companies have to wrestle with in, a, in an entirely different system based on book income. BEPS 2.0 is going to fundamentally change the way in which their entire multinational footprint is viewed, planned for, and anticipated. And you have to then back into what does that mean for business. It increases the compliance burden, it increases how you share data. But it's also being more strategic uh, around the tax function. But this is a topic that's hard to communicate about because the rules are still being developed and countries are in the early stages of, of implementing the rules. I think it's been really, really interesting in the context of how ready, um, how getting ready, I should say, our clients are for data and technology. And a big piece of that is because of tax reform and BEPS. The data challenges associated with compliance with Pillar 2 are enormous. And for many, many clients, it will require potentially very significant changes in their systems and processes. And we all know that the lead time and budget process is involved in major technology changes. And so it is a concern. I think the key thing in terms of what we're communi communicating to our clients in terms of what they need to do to now think about BEPS is to think about data, data, data. Because we had a government representatives, tax office representatives here, we've had a very balanced discussion uh, around tax and uh, you know the paying the right amount of tax, the burden of tax compliance. So I think it's just led to very rounded conversations altogether. It's it's really well said. What one of the things that Susan and I have loved has been the collaboration between the two. So again, what are what are the tax authorities trying to accomplish? How are they trying to do that in a you know a friendly way and a thoughtful way and, and frankly how the taxpayers are giving them really good insight to that. It's not just consultants talking to customers and, and, and clients saying hey we think there's an issue that you need to deal with. The regulators themselves are sort of saying this is real and this is actually going to happen. Engagement with government is a big big deal now. I think it's a much bigger thing than it was 15 years ago. I think it used to be a play where I did my thing in the tax world and, and governments did their thing and we, we interacted when we needed to interact. Today it is a much more, I don't want to call it collaborative, but it is a much more open dialogue.